big snowstorm now. At least it's supposed to be pretty big. Um, I don't know the exact totals off the top of my head, but I want to say we could potentially get a foot of snow here uh, over the course of the day today. It is 8.55 a.m. I'm headed out to a campsite. It's a pretty local campsite to me. I'm going to definitely get a spot with electricity tonight. And I'm going to plug in and hang out see how much snow we get today um, I think the heaviest is supposed to be this afternoon but it was snowing when I woke up this morning at like 7 a.m. and uh, we probably already got an inch of snow on the ground uh, the roads are completely covered there's basically nobody out um, pretty much everything is already closed down uh, they're, they've declared snow emergencies in all the local cities so, sounds like a perfect time to camp, right? Uh, but this one should be pretty interesting. Uh, this storm really just kind of popped up in the last couple of days. And it's promising. It looks to be the biggest storm we've had so far this year. So, I'm pretty excited for it. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be to camp in a minute. Well guys, I've made it to camp. It is cold out here. It is snowing. Uh, there's some other people here. There's actually one other person out camping right now, which is kind of surprising. They're in a tent uh, and it's just supposed to snow all day. So it's gonna be pretty rad. I'm gonna get back up in here and we're gonna hang out for a bit. Stay tuned. All right, well, I got my boots off. I should start bringing a little rubber mat to put down, to put my boots on so I don't get the floor wet probably be a good idea. And I dislike bringing my coat back here because it's such a well, kind of big item. It's all wet so I want it to dry out. Get cozy in here. And I'm gonna crack this window just so it doesn't fog up in here quite as bad. That one's open a little bit get all my food and junk put away so as far as today like I said on the way out here it was just about nine o'clock I'm not making a bunch of noise I have not even drank any coffee yet this morning it's 9 30 now uh, and I guess I'll read you guys the the weather here we're in a winter storm warning remains in effect until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning Heavy snow is expected. Total snow accumulations of 8 to 16 inches. Heaviest snow rates expected mainly from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Don't travel, don't do any of that. Blah, 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 blah. So it's not like, it's not going to be wild. I don't think it's going to be crazy windy, but it is just going to snow like crazy. Let me put my, this food stuff away, I guess. I bought some, some junk food. Oh, just a couple of bread rolls there. I don't really have much in here. I really got some trash I need to get rid of in there. Oh, some Pringles for snacks. What else? Some beef jerky. This is gas station brand, Casey's. We have Casey's gas stations here. They're starting to come out with a bunch of different stuff like that. A couple of bottles of water. Oh, and a Snickers bar. So I got a Snickers bar. I might throw that in the cooler, actually. And, uh, like I said, I haven't even had coffee yet. So I found this. I like these Dunkin' iced coffees. 
Uh, most of the time I just go with the original flavor, but they've got like Girl Scout cookie uh, flavors coming out now. There's the Girl Scout logo. Um, and this one is s'mores. But they've got like the Thin Mint and stuff like that in uh, coffee flavors. So I figured this would be pretty good. I'm a fan of s'mores. We're going to crack this guy open. Try to get this rest of my stuff all set up. I need to change into my pajamas for the evening, for the afternoon, for the entire day, I guess. These do not need to be cold. It's not a bad view right here. Pop that open. It's a pretty light snow right now. It's kind of lightened up a bit. We are not in the, uh, the heavy hour of it, I guess. And like I said, it's early today. I haven't been to camp. I haven't been to a campsite before, probably three or four o'clock in the afternoon in a while, unless I stayed there the night before. So to show up at nine o'clock in the morning, I've got a bit of a afternoon to chill, but I've got a bunch of stuff downloaded. I've got bunch of snack foods like I said I really didn't I didn't bring anything really to cook I do have like some ramen noodles in there so we'll just kind of see how hungry I get throughout the day I've got a few beers I've got some waters and uh, I'm just gonna kick it for a bit so I'm gonna get a movie going I think we are going to watch uh, Blue Streak I haven't seen that in a while so stay tuned guys I'll watch this movie and then uh, That'll put us into that 11 o'clock hour for sure. And we'll see what the snow's looking like then. So stay tuned. I think it's time to go outside and wander around a bit. Uh, it has snowed a lot. Um, let's see, it's two o'clock. Uh, so I've been here for a few hours. I was gonna just watch one movie and go wander around a bit, but I got, uh, I watched that movie and then I got sucked into Top Gear. I've been watching some old seasons of Top Gear, old episodes, this is season 14. I'm on episode three. I've got all of season 14 downloaded. Uh, so that's been pretty fun to watch. Um, while I've been sitting here, there's been like one one truck drove through, and uh, that was about it. In fact, it was a state truck. It didn't stop or do anything here, but he drove through. So we'll suit up here and go wander around a bit. See what we can find out there, I guess. Make sure I've got my phone. I don't have a stocking cap with me. I might have one up in the cab of the truck, but I don't really want to open the door. It's going to dump a bunch of snow in. crap look at that I bet there's well over six inches of snow on the ground right now yeah there's a lot of snow out here and it's just dumping look at that there might have been an inch on the ground when I when I got here it's the truck yeah it's dumping and it's gonna continue to snow the rest of the day. The truck is covered. We 
and these fire pits are almost completely buried. I wonder how much is on here. I bet that's at least six inches. Yeah, I really wouldn't be surprised if we got another six. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is tracks where that truck drove through and maybe, probably not from what I drove through here. Uh, the lake is down here. Can't really even see it. I'm curious what this ice is actually like here. But uh, my spud bar is in the truck. So you can see the lake is right here. We're right on the bank. It's all frozen over, covered in snow. It almost looks like there might be an open spot across there. Uh, this place tends to have a lot of geese activity. So. Uh, they tend to keep a lot of the spots open around here at this spot. I can't remember the last time we've had this much snow in this short amount of time. Trees are just covered. I haven't seen that guy in the tent. I don't know if you'll really even be able to see it on this camera very well. Because he's kind of quite a ways away over there. Uh, yeah, there's a tent right there. He's not running any kind of wood stove in there. He is at an electric site. He might have a heater in his rig also. Heater in the tent, I should say, not in his rig. funny I was out a week or so ago in this blizzard they had forecasted this blizzard and yeah I suppose if the wind was whipping right now it would be even worse but that storm was definitely not the storm they made it out to be I think it's time to crawl back in the truck it's cold out here cold and snowy not a lot to do right now I suppose if you had a snowmobile or something this would be a good time but I don't have anything like that get back up in there in the warmth of it boy all right let's get back in the truck oh I got water dripping gotta get that closed quickly even though I'm soaking, soaking wet. Got the bare minimum, just get that down. Oh, I just dumped it all over. I'm an idiot. Whatever's melting on that window, when you open it up, it drips right off of here. Just comes down and drips right in. Uh, I could probably soak some of that up. And with the heater running, it should evaporate. Uh, it's 62 degrees in here, and I just had that open. So, I'm not terribly worried about it being soaking wet in here. My boots and the floor was dry uh, for me getting in here when I got here earlier. Wish I could have got some of this off of my jacket. So once again, I don't really have any good spot to put it in here. Probably just got my bed all wet. Tight. That's snow camping, I guess. You're gonna get wet. 
Uh, I just don't have the greatest place to put wet items back here. Hopefully that dries out. I've got this heater turned around now. It's uh, going straight onto that puddle of water. My butt's hanging out. The heater pushing on that should dry out pretty quick. Well, I'm gonna keep going on my Top Gear Marathon here. Uh, I've already watched all the uh, the Grand Tour episodes on Amazon. The most recent one was a special. Uh, but if you like the old Top Gear, check out the Grand Tour on Amazon. Clarkson and May and Hammond, Richard Hammond. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep watching this. I'm gonna eat some terrible munchies. I've got some chips and crap with me. Uh, and I don't know, it's after two, but it's about 2.30 now. I think it's time to crack a beer. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. We'll have ourselves a brewski. I'm curious what the actual accumulation is so far. I mean, to me it looks like six-ish out there. And we're still uh, forecasted to get close to 12 inches. And uh, since it's got a good five more hours to snow, that might actually happen. But I'm going to get this going. All right, y'all. Well, it's been a few hours. The sun has gone down. Uh, it's still snowing a little bit out there. It's still pretty windy. Uh, the wind actually seems like it picked up as the snow is tapered off. Or maybe that's why it looks like it's not snowing as much. Uh, but there's a lot of snow out there. I'm seeing reports on Facebook uh, anywhere between like 9 to about 15 inches. I'm guessing there's, there's probably at least 8 inches out there by now. But we'll see what it looks like in the morning. So I've been kind of snacking on stuff all day. Chips, uh, beef jerky, I got zingers, uh, I had a Snickers bar. I've just been munching on stuff all day watching movies here. Uh, but I'm going to try these. Uh, I'm getting kind of tired. But I'm going to try these guys. I've never had these before. Uh, bar Harbor Natural Smoked Wild Kippers. So I've eaten... Uh, uh, I eat... Um, sardines i like sardines i don't know if a sardine and a kipper is considered the same thing or not i couldn't tell you it's a product of latvia so yeah ready to eat naturally wood smoked sustainably harvested from the clear cold waters of the north sea so we'll give this a try like i said i've never had this kind before uh but I like stuff like this that's easy to open and simple to use. Means less stuff to carry around. Bet they're gonna smell wonderful. That doesn't smell bad at all. Does not smell bad at all. I guess kippers must be much larger than sardines. It looks like there's two big pieces in here. Basically, that's the outside of the fish right there. Scales and whatnot. Uh, maybe there's more than two in there. Two or three. Looks appetizing, I know, guys, right? Pretty good. Now, it does have a lot of wood smoke flavor to it. It'd be pretty nice if I had some crackers. I don't have any crackers in here. 
don't think Cool Ranch Doritos are going to go all that well with sardines or kippers, I guess you should say. We're going to give them a whirl with these Cool Ranch Doritos. Anyways. Yeah, that's an odd flavor combination. Not bad though. There's actually quite a bit more in this thing than I expected. All right. Kippers and Cool Ranch, how's that look? Not bad at all. Well guys, I'm gonna finish these up. I'm probably gonna get headed to bed. The nice thing for me to do would probably be get up early and go home and clear my driveway off so my wife can get to work. For this, I should probably bust a snowblower out. I haven't used my snowblower yet this year. And honestly, I don't think I used it last year, so it might not start because it's been a couple of years. But I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll get out there and check out how much snow actually fell. Stay tuned. Good morning. Yo. Well, good morning, y'all. Oh, it's 7.30. I did not get up as early as I wanted to. Or wake up as early as I wanted to, I guess. See, the windows are kind of covered in snow. The back one is all covered in snow on the outside, and so are these on that side. But I think the sun's about to come up. You can kind of see the sunrise starting to happen out there. Let's pop this window open. The window's like frozen. Man, there's a lot of snow out there. There's easily a foot of snow out there. Nine inches to a foot, probably. Well, what to do this morning? Do I sit here and make coffee or do I go home? Probably, honestly, just gonna get my stuff together and, and start heading out of here. Cause I gotta go home and clear my driveway out, which is gonna suck and I don't really feel like doing that, but needs to be done, obviously. Gotta clear the sidewalks. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna run home and start moving snow. I don't have gas for my snow blower, so I gotta go home, get my gas can, go to the gas station, get home, keep my fingers crossed that my snow blower works, get my driveway cleared off. Not particularly looking forward to it, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and this open. Dang, they're frozen shut. It doesn't even want to open straight because there's so much snow sitting on the bumper. Alright. All I need out of here is my bag. Get everything else later. Jesus, yeah. I bet there's a foot of snow on the ground. It's down near coming up over my boots. And my feet aren't even hitting the ground yet. Yeah, look at that. Right at the bar, right there. See how deep it is. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a drive getting out of here, that's for sure, but it's about all I need to do. The truck's already in four-wheel drive. I think we can make it. Look at the snow on that thing. Wow. This is just solid ice on the side. 
Well, there's probably an inch of ice on the side of the truck. If you guys can see how thick that is. I mean, look at that. That's for me sitting in there with the heat going. This side isn't near as bad, but there's still plenty on it. Like that is ice. I'm gonna get some pictures of this and we'll probably get this truck started and we'll get out of here. Stay tuned, guys. stuck yet uh, the snow is pushing me around a little bit I got out to look after I had driven out of there and the tracks where I had driven like my diffs were dragging so it's pretty deep oh they plowed this part okay I'm already back up to a little plowed area where the entrance of the park was so I'm guessing the roads out here probably shouldn't be terrible well that was a wild storm guys uh, I don't know, for Nebraska, we don't get storms like that very often. And our year for snow has been pretty slow anyways. So to have this happen, they're saying it was a foot of snow here. So we got a foot of snow in a day and uh, now it's time to clean everything up. Oh yeah, there is a lot of snow out here, but I gotta get home. I gotta get started on my cleaning chores. And uh, that'll be about it for this one, guys, I guess. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.